Good morning, world. Good morning, world. All right, you got something from our friend Emily, don't you? Yes, Emily. Emily uh, sent us a a request as uh, for Tom McDonald's Superman, and she simply said, both just dropped 20 minutes ago. Another song was one from High Res. We may get to that later on this week. We'll have to check and see. So thank you, Emily, and the hundreds of others who are part of the Hog family for saying uh, we should look at Tom McDonald's Superman. Stay tuned. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. All right, before we get to it, I also want to shout out Joshua Cummings. Joshua, thank you. He sent us some money on Venmo. We appreciate it. He didn't even ask for anything. He just said money to Cedric and Brian, and we appreciate it. And I know there's a, you haters out there and wonder why we ask why for money. Why are you asking for money? We just, you know, we... You don't have to send it. I, just to answer one of your questions on this, because somebody said, just for your information, Ren doesn't block anything. Well, our last video, Money Game 3, it, it it's not monetized. Um, I can bring up and show you that it's got a big red dollar sign with a line through it, but not everything gets monetized. Sometimes it's YouTube. It's probably not Ren, but the powers that be sometimes decide not to monetize. Uh, we do like to do this, um, and we we do have to make some money on it. Yes. So, okay. Let's All right, you ready? All right. Cedric, Cedric's very impatient today, Best so I'm wearing the shirt. We're gonna do it. So Superman. headphones on. Superman by Tom McDonald. Uh -oh. I left this on, but it's still working. Do, Thank goodness. Do, do, okay. Alright, here we go. Unlock my phone and watch the world die. They cry into God while they run for their lives. Blood in the streets, bombs in the sky Goodbye, I hope you had dreams come true I hope they see in their crosshairs what I see in you And I hope and I pray that's all I can do I don't understand who is good or bad they don't care as long as you got all your sense We need something fast, we need something bad More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? I'm just going to stop it just because we need to stop it Because otherwise, just go watch Tom's video um, And you can watch it without us interrupting um, my guess is he's uh, he wrote this after what's going on in the Middle East. Yeah. So yes. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot to say after this. So. Yes. I like that part where he takes this, uh, this rectangular glowing device that we all have, mm -hmm. and when you unlock your phone, the what's going on in the world is right there in front of you. And when he unlocks the phone, he sees the fighting, like you referred to. Mm -hmm. And I love what he says there. And we're not Israel, Palestine, World War II, whatever the war may be. He's talking to the men who are fighting and the women and says, I hope you had some dreams. I hope people just don't look at you and say, you know what, I'm just going to take him out because we see you. You're so much more than that. You had hopes, you had dreams, you had goals, you had aspirations, you were husbands and wives. And I had, it, I had it different. I thought he was talking about trying to use the innocent civilians and the kids. And I was going to say that too, the, the kids. It could be the children. I, yeah, the innocent, I got that kids vibe yeah. from it that I hope you had dreams. Um, Anyways, we'll we'll get to our commentary on that part afterwards, but let's okay. continue. It's it's good, it's different for Tom. Oh, where's Superman? Oh, where's Superman? I turn on the news and watch the world fight. Thousands of men making widows of wives. I'll be home Ooh. soon, walked off in the night Goodbye, I will remember you I know it should be shot in their man just like you But I hope and I pray Cause that's all I can do I don't understand who is good or bad They don't care as long as you got I'm going to stop it there just because <laughs> if he is talking about the current thing, I don't, 
this is the moral equivalency thing that's been going on. Mm-hmm. And it, it's the thing that has been frustrating me the most. Um, and to go back to what Cedric was talking about with the phones, uh, back in, let's say, when Clinton was there and there was a bunch of these wars, they, they wrote a movie about it called Wag the Dog, you know, try to take take the focus away from uh, the stuff that Clinton was doing. Uh, so, you know, he'd start a war. Um, but we didn't see that. Only if you were really into, like, watching the news did you know that there was a war going on. Now, obviously, with TikTok and everything, there's there's everybody sees the war and they're getting their propaganda from both sides. Yeah. So that that's a thing. But but not knowing who's good or bad, that worries me. That's like saying back in uh, World War II when they were gassing the Jews, I'm, I'm not sure what side's right here. Or the gulags with the Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. You know, there are just two things happening, as AOC would say, or, or who, one of the members of the squad. Something happened. Um, so I do take um, a little, uh, I do have a little problem with that line, but I get it. That's where society is right now, and, and maybe he's just trying to play it safe. Right. Sorry, Tom. Yeah. I was going to touch on that too, but like the, the sign, making widows of wives, it's like to piggyback on what I was saying earlier, and you said, well, it's probably referring to the innocent civilians, yeah, and you're the talking children. About the, yeah, you're talking about the war, the, now, the, the yeah. soldiers. Yes. Now you're talking about the soldiers. Is like, I, I got to take you out, and uh, this is what I have to do. Good, bad, or indifferent. Yeah, I can get into that too, but I won't. Who is good or bad? They don't care as long as you got all your sense. We need something fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Soon, you won't need a TV or an iPhone to see because you will look out the window and boom. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got oil sense. We need something fast. Is he saying oil sense? I, I, I don't know what he's saying. Oil there. sands or oil? I don't care as long as you got oil sands. We need something. All right, one more time, guys, just because I'm going to put this on. See what they say. They don't care as long as you got oil sands. We need oil something sand. fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? I know you want to get into some deeper well, stuff. Well, I mean, it's... Move the headphones. I, unfortunately, I, I think he's hitting some of the mainstream narrative stuff. Um, oil sand, I mean, they're, they're talking about... If he's talking about this conflict, not, I mean, if he's going back to, like, the Iraq and the Afghanistan mm-hmm. and stuff like that, that's one thing. If he's focusing on this one, it's, it's an unproductive area. It obviously... Israelis are not going for oil and sand in that area. They left, and this is something that I see, and there's people I love dearly, and they post these things like, you know, wanting a ceasefire. It's like, I didn't see them post a ceasefire since 2005 when rockets have been launched nonstop for the last 14 years. I haven't seen a cease. Nobody wanted a ceasefire then. Nobody cared. And now they want a ceasefire because, for those of you, I'm just going to give you a little history lesson on this. The Israelis pulled out of Gaza in 2005 because the international community was saying, you can't occupy that area. So they displaced all the Israelis, moved out of um, Gaza in 2005. It was a long time ago. The reason they were there in the first place is because they didn't want rockets being fired because rockets have been fired since 1948 into Israel. So they said, okay, fine. The international community wants us out of there. So what did they do? They left. 
And that thing's been turned into a prison, basically, for the Gaza or the Palestinian people in Gaza. And then Israel gets blamed. It's like, no, we haven't been there. We're giving you electricity. They're doing. They're 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 providing the whole area. And then, of course, when they cut it off, then they're blamed. But it's like the area in Gaza gets more money than any other country in the world per for its size. But what do they do with that money? They haven't taken care of their people. Hamas takes that. They turn everything into weapons of war, and then they launch it at Israel. So it just frustrates me when I just hear um, everybody shouting for a ceasefire. Why? Why should you do a ceasefire when there hasn't been a ceasefire for 50 years mm -hmm. in Israel? But, you know, it's that whole power struggle. If you're considered somebody who's the more powerful, then you're always going to root for the underdog. Well, sometimes the under, underdog's evil. When 9-11 when happened, we had no problem calling out uh, ISIS and al-Qaeda and all that stuff. And for some reason, with this conflict, since it's not us in the U.S., it's just, oh, it's that other Jewish country, um, they better stop and stop, you know, killing things. Even though they're the only person, they had a guy from the military in England that said, I fought in Afghanistan, in Iraq, everything. I've never seen a, a, a war machine, if you want to call it that, or a fighting force like the IDF, who puts out pamphlets, sends text messages, and calls people and says, hey, we're, we're going to bomb there, you better get out. So basically, they're giving up their element of surprise just so they try to minimize casualties. And it's just, Cedric knows, this frustrates me. And then he talks about, you know, the, the, the death and stuff. And, and I just wanted to make one comment more, and I'll let you go, Cedric. I'm sorry. No, no. Um, take, make that, that line about making widows. Well, guess what? Hamas didn't have to worry about that because they went and they killed the children and the wives, too. So they didn't make widows out of everybody. They just killed everybody. And those were true innocents, and in mm -hmm. horrific ways. Yes. So, anyways, go ahead. Well, I knew you were going to run with it. It's just uh, sorry. No, no. I, I, I didn't know I, this song was going to be about that. I, I thought it was going to be a happy I, Superman. I took, you know? a, I took a step Lois back Lane. and let you run with that. <laughs> I know ahead. it's a you, you feel this. Go ahead. You guys can come at me. No, no. And you can. No, no. I'm talking about our, our audience. If you guys yeah. want to write and say I'm wrong, go ahead. But uh, most people out there do not know history. Right. And they just hear what's on their their latest feed, like Tom was saying. Well, I, I got your back. And we okay. know that this whole ceasefire thing, we know that if, if Israel were to lay down their arms, they're yeah, going to get obliterated. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, they, yeah. if, if Hamas, yeah. Hamas lays down their arms, There'd okay, now we, can, now we can work on something. I, I, I'll say that factually. I know that as a fact. Um Tom's hook there, where is Superman? Yeah. I like that at the end. I don't know if noticed it. And I know Brian had his take on it. I, this is my small two to three minute take. Superman, or I think I'm going to call him God, or some type of hero. Mm -hmm. And I love the end there when he's done with the song and Superman flies, which is answering the question like, he's always there. Oh, was that Superman? I thought that was like a jet coming with No, it was, super, it was Superman. Superman. He's always there. Was quick. <laughs> and uh, God, because, you know, being me and the nerd, because I have the Superman t shirt. Uh, what was the movie Superman Returns? Um, it's still starring Brandon Routh and uh, all on you, buddy. Kate Bosworth didn't see it. Yeah, I know, but I, for those of you who saw it, <laughs> there's a scene where Superman has gone on sabbatical for a very long time, which caused Lois Lane, which was the the eminent uh, writer in the world at that time, she wrote an expose saying, "Does the world need Superman, or why is why why the world doesn't need a Superman?" Because she had been jilted. I mean, right. good lord, you're dating Superman and he just <laughs> he ghosts you. You're gonna be a little bit. Does he wrong? But he comes down, he's talking to her, and he picks her up, and he takes her up above the Earth's atmosphere. And she says, it's so, he goes, what do you hear? She goes, oh, I don't hear anything. It's so quiet and peaceful. He goes, I hear everything. Mm. You can't hear it. I can hear it. So Superman, and people say, and I'm not going to turn this into a religious thing, you know, why, do, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people and things like that? It's like, he's not directing us. He's always there. And if we can take our eyes out of, out of the phone looking down all the time and kind of look up to him and, and call out to him. He's there. My, uh, my, my, my fiance, I was running late today because Brian sent me a text. Did you get lost? I've been here 3,000 times. No, I didn't get lost. But she was like having a fit because she's coming with me because she wants to say goodbye to, to Brian's wife and his eldest daughter before they moved to Tennessee. And we're in her car. We're coming over here. And the, the tire sensor light comes on. <laughs> she has a flat tire. And we turned around and go back when I got my car. And, but she's like, oh, my gosh, why is this? So, I'm like, <laughs> relax. There, there are, more, world problems right there are there. more important <laughs> things going on right now than your flat tire. We have the financial means. We have the resources. We have the time to get this fixed. And, and I, and Did you tell her it could have been worse? It could have been a blowout on the freeway? It could have been a blowout on the freeway. We could have been spinning out and, and lost. It's a, it's a nail in a tire. 
will fix it. But um, but I, I want to let you run with that. Yeah, I know, guys, we're kind of going off. This is Tom's fault. Tom, I, I got taken aback by this, too. It's like, I thought it was going to be like a fun Superman-type song. But, uh, but Superman's always there. Um, and you look at the, the Christopher Reeve. I think, I think of the... I think of Superman. I mean, he likes the whole uh, Marvel thing. I I think of the Superman thing. It's great when you're a kid and and somebody Superman's can come in DC. And, and say, "Oh, that's right, DC, Batman, Superman." Sorry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure they all yelled at me. <laughs> um, oh, the comic book genre uh, that uh, I kind of think of that as kind of the utopia. Some of you guys got hit me with rant on the utopia thing. Mm-hmm. It's like. There is no Superman. It's like there can't be a utopia for one. Would you want to have one person with all that power over everybody? And I know in the comics, it's great because he does good. And he used to stand for truth, justice, and the American way, right? Or is that Superman? Right? Yes. See, that's not the American way now. It's uh, right. being bisexual and uh, e- e- not equality, but uh, yeah. equal outcomes. Yeah. Equity. Yeah. yeah. Equity. Diversity, and, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> So, oh, you know what? We're going on too far. I know. Sorry Tom, for all you Nova, Tom fans. good job. Yes. Bring us your comments. Bring, us, bring it to us. And, and you know what's good? It was good to hear Tom. It's a, not a rap song, so Cedric didn't have a lot to say, according to one of our people. Right. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, but he sang a song and played guitar. I'm assuming he played the guitar. And um, he did a song, a ballad. It was good. Yes. <clears throat> I yes. know he's done other ones. We've done them. But, yeah. And real quick, I'm in it here. The reason, for those of you who don't know, me and Brian cut our teeth on cultural and political stuff. We deviated from that a little bit the last year or so because even we were getting a little tired and burned out from opening our phones and seeing all the political stuff that's going on. So, yeah, yeah, you got to look at your phone, know what's going on in the world, but don't be consumed by it where it ruins you and depresses you and there's infighting with you and your family and your friends. But be aware of what's going on. Like Brian said, educate yourself. What's going on? Just don't be in an echo chamber. Please educate Even we don't. yourself. Please don't just listen to the mainstream media. It's been proven over and over with this latest conflict that all they're doing is they're taking the Hamas propaganda and bringing it over here as news. And then it gets debunked. But nobody hears the debunking of it. They only hear the initial um, reporting of it, which is BS, kind of like the, the bombing of the hospital by the Israelis, which was, was, was a complete lie. Right. So please educate yourself. Go back and look at the history of the com and, and find out who the Palestinians really are because it, there was no Palestinians back in the it day. Was they, Iran. they were they were Arabs and Arabs came from Arabia. Mm-hmm. Um, the English gave that territory that that piece of land uh, they call it Palestine to mock the Isra- the Jews, you know, the Philistines. Okay. Anyway, let's get you a drink. Okay, we're done. Let's get man. you a let's drink. Done. Make sure you like, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> ring that bell, and continue sharing our channel with everyone you know. In the next two or three months, you're gonna be hearing this kind of stuff from us nonstop once he gets moving settled. So stay tuned for all that. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. See you later. <laughs>